And now to put the bloodstone in its place. Just left or right, yeah. Because <laughs> we should be able to get there pretty much unimpeded. Yeah, I'm thinking is this a you're not allowed to drop it situation. If you do, it will go back in place, maybe. Let's not find out. That should mean we won't need to do the light door again. We did everything behind it. Yeah. I suspect there's going to be one gem behind each of those doors anyway. That makes sense. And once we've got two of them active, we'll be able to use the normal weaver door. Let's see what happens here. Of it creates a stream of air. Mm. It's almost cartoonish. Yeah, it was weird the way it animated. Unfortunately, we didn't actually program in any physics for doing it normally, so this just behaves like it normally would, even though really it should push you around. And it should, and that would be nice, but it's one stream <laughs> of air down, I assume, two to go. We want to do the darkness star. Yeah, and as you can see, it's created a kind of upwards miasma, so to speak. Right, so uh, what, dark next? Yeah. We went through the regular Reaver doll and it seemed to be missing something, so I'm guessing yeah, we, we, want do that last. To, we want to do the other two first rather than it first. get attacked. But then we can advance through the door of darkness. <laughs> Sims, what's with this flattened circles? Like they almost just stretched the level to make it fit or something. Maybe. And I sort of went, no, oh, we needed a different shape. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Excellent. I don't think that one made a noise either. There's anything in here unless you go up. This is like little blocks to jump on. It's one of them eyes. Oh. We do still have the power of darkness. Wait, where is the eyes? It's just Above up there. there. The brief. Whoa! That was quite a. A distortion, difference. yeah. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I bet you can't get um, past there in the the physical realm. Or well, maybe you can. So where do I go? Hmm. I was thinking up. Yes, you're right. 
You might need to kill a thing or two. Hear a soul, but yes, you might be right. That should be enough. darkness font on the other side. In you go. And then again, across and up as soon as you can. All oh, right, you're going to blind him. Just figured it would be a bit safer. Yeah. You might need to do it again, I don't know. Do you pull it out? Cute. <laughs> oh, back. Oh, no, I thought it was going to stomp on you. Do you put the path back? Does it open? Is it opened another passageway, or did you just want that brick? Go on, kill him. Oh. That was gonna kill him instead of me for change. I don't think they do. I'm sure that's how it demonstrated what it was going to do to us, though. Oh, right. That's what to do with this. I thought it was going to be more interesting than that. I just placed it so I can stick my sword in the door. No, no, no that is a little dull. Cool that the distortion allows you to get through. Yeah. But so does this. Before you grab it, mm -hmm. blind the eye and then grab it, and you're going to have to run past the eye to get back up and jump over, aren't you? You might need to go a little further forward than that. Okay, go. And then just run through. You climb up, I believe. Yes, you do. Are you? Good thinking. And the same thing, you go right to the edge and you do your jump high up. Excellent. And this should get us the next one. I did wonder about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because yes, that could have been game breaking. Because if we tried to go back out, and then we wouldn't have been able to get past it. Yeah. And a more orange than red. Yeah, I was thinking, isn't this orange? I don't suppose it matters. I like the way you can hear the heartbeat of it as well. Is it this one? It looks like it. Yeah, well, it matches the colours. Saw it coming that time. The, the slightly different animation was cute, yeah. Just one left to go. Which should be the regular lever. Now, if I go up with this. Does that count? 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. Right, but we need the last one to get it sort of higher up. Yeah. Cool, though, yeah? Mm, yeah. I didn't realise I hadn't demonstrated it yet, but yes. I was wondering whether or not that would work or if it would reject it because it wasn't a normal reaver. It just has to be any reaver. Looks like you can just go. Yeah, what am I doing yeah. those guys for? I suppose because oh. they'll follow you. Well, you might have stopped there. <laughs> yeah, better run. Right, so hopefully we can do. Ooh, that goes. It has the change the world. world symbols, so I assume just change world. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was quite a. Right. You can't jump on them in the real world. You do want a little bit of soul. I actually just realised there was some up there, but now I probably have to kill these guys. Like, just too high to hit him. It's like, just swing the blade down, Raziel. Okay. We're good, though. But yes, I don't think these... These were, like, too far in. I suppose we can have a look in this world. Yeah, they look like they go just a bit too tall. So there's fonts, I believe, on each side. Yeah. Light on that one, dark on that one, and there's stuff this side. I can see an eye there. Which means I'm on the wrong side because I need to blind it. So can you just jump? What? I'm assuming just jump over, like with the glide, so you can... I, I meant like duck jump. Oh, that worked. Oh, do you pull it? Can you pull it down? And then it shuts the other one. Right. Ah. So actually, I probably didn't want to do that. I would have assumed you did if you wanted to take us back over. Because you need the air to be pushing you back over. I suppose it depends. Am I supposed to go up here or not? You need the light for one and dark for the other, but you have to pick one first either way. Okay. Well, let's jump over. Are you not going to do the one that you have first? I don't even know if there's a door on the other side. I suspect there isn't, and this wants me to blind it. You should probably check, just so you're not doing this like three well, I'm times. not sure I'll be able to, because I'm not sure I'll be able to get past the eyeball, but I suppose since I have darkness, I can definitely get past the eyeball. And then I need light. So I do need them both open. Oh. Okay, I see what you're getting at. I kind of expected it to be like that, just because that would be more awkward, if you see what right. I mean. I assumed you were just remembering it. Oh goodness, no. No, but I should do this light door first of all anyway, shouldn't I? Well, because the idea is, is then, yes, you, you're going in and having to go grab the light. I need to open it first, yeah. Yeah, open, yeah.
They'll just do what I think they just did. Shush. Mm-hmm. Okay. fiddly than I would like. I was like, did I activate? Oh, I'm starting to think actually I just need to go into the other world because the other world stops time. So in other words, if I do that, that'll stay there, right? Right. And then there's a... right. Yeah, so it's a you have to stop time idea. Because then I can... Change, grab the light, jump over and go. So you need to be able to just do it in one step. I need light? That'll kill me. But do I get darkness first and then... No, I, I just I need light, don't I? Transport to physical, light, pull, glide over, go up, get through. You just have to have crackerjack time. Okay, but if I go down there and get light and then go up those stairs, I'll just die. Yes, that's why I mean you come back over and go through. Ah, right. You just have to have crackerjack timing. So I go. Sense a problem here. Mm. Oh, I'll have to have a think about this. Yeah, apparently you just do it quickly. So we, we were doing the right thing anyway. I'm curious now if you can just do that. Oh, other than the fact that it always overshoots. It's like really, you should be able to just hit the crystal for me, shouldn't you? It would be cool if you could. Sort of <laughs> like the. Like the one in the other game where you could throw the gong right to the far end and it would break. Yeah. Because you sort of have infinite throwing distance as well. Thank for coming the other way. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably quicker to get it sorted now. Or did I do that the wrong way around? No, because you want to get light and come over. Yeah, so I did it the wrong way around. I shouldn't have swapped them over. I thought you had done it the right way around, but fair enough. Well, if it's blowing this way, then I'm picking up dark, but I need to pick up light. Yes, but then you need to get back into the middle by coming over here and going around. I have no idea what you mean. You have to... It doesn't matter, I suppose you can just try it.
Oh, yes, I see what you mean. Because I still need to switch it, don't I? Yeah. In fact, I wonder if that's what's taking the extra time. Maybe it is because when I do this, does the bridge go away or something? I don't know, I'm just assuming it just adds extra time. It's still there. Yeah, I thought you had to, like, gain extra time by going into the other world, but... Yeah, because that's what we've done in the previous puzzles in the first game. Yeah, because it's a way of stopping time going into the other world. I think that just shifted. No, it didn't. It's still here. See, that's actually simpler than what I thought it was going to be, because, like I say, I thought it was going to be a matter of, oh, no, you need to do it this way. And it's not. <laughs> You literally just go quicker. <laughs> I find that really odd. Actually, it's kind of a missed opportunity. You kind of should have to go into the other world to stop the timer. But regardless, we get the stone. We did. Maybe they figured um, we'd done that last time, so they didn't want to make people do it again. It was a cool puzzle. But anyway, we have the thing. We can now get, 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 get out of here. It's just down from through the bottom there that we're walking over, yeah. With this blue blood. Like us. The colours don't really match. Yeah, that's purple, isn't it? Yeah. Looking forward to what the animation is this time. I'm guessing you'll just do the same thing again. But yes, I'm sure you you can see the idea is to um, create a monumentous updraft. Yeah, lots of swirly wind flow. This is, after all, the wind or the, the air forge. And then what, do you get in the middle again, or what? Ah, if I remember. Create more air. So I take it. We just need one more, which is the dark one. Ah. Give us a break. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the last time. So I'm waiting for this mouth to like eat us. Holy breath.
As the reaver drained the forge of its vital energy, the tempest receded. I recovered myself and paused to admire my newly forged weapon, now imbued with the elemental power of air. Thus armed, I hope that I now finally possess the means to escape this wasted land. Ooh. Yeah. A little uptick, but yes, this is us, the uh, get a power to go and open the door right back at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Which, yes, is a little a bit of a shame. So now the air fonts are also active. They look cool. And we can now activate these, which we've seen a couple dotted around the place. And what that does is lets us... You hold auto face to glide. Nearly let me go over the top. Not quite. And that's it. There is no going back into the temple of air, or whatever it was. The air forge. I call it. And yes, part of the point it was making is that we can now. Hoo <laughs> This elemental reaver I discovered had the power to obliterate barriers that were cracked or compromised. At last, I had the means to open that ruined time-streaming chamber I discovered so long ago in the swamp. Now, perhaps, I could leave this wasteland and return to an era when Janos Ordrin still lived. Yes, and that's what it's getting at with this. This is an air forge effect. Right. The whole place is subsumed with wind. I sometimes have the same issue. Uh, I swear we saw one of those air things somewhere near here. Also, it's quite amusing that I now have, like, air coming off me as an effect. You do. You've sort of powered up a little. Uh, we've seen them a couple of times, actually. This eye not just going to kill me. I suppose you just like it. Yeah, got wind in your eye. That's not fair. In real life, they would shut it. Right? It's like when you go to the opticians and they have that machine. It doesn't actually do anything useful to optometrists. It's just there to annoy you. Just the thing that goes <laughs> in your face, <laughs> in your eye. It's like, ugh. See what it, it should power that up a bit, shouldn't it? It kind of doesn't. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, there's one on the opposite side there. Just jump in the water and get. Oh, I hate the combat in this stupid game. <laughs> There was, a, there was a, you want to go all the way to the opposite side. Why? Because there was one of those air symbols on the ground. Okay. You should just be able to swim and then shoot yourself out by that light on the left, far across there. Look at fish. Yeah, that light there. This. Mm -hmm. and we can now check out what's up here. There's a dark front for some reason. We need a dark front for some reason. 
There's something over there too. Should we try and get over there? I don't know. That's back the way we came. Yeah, which we do. So that is there. a new area, isn't it? It's somewhere. Well, it's somewhere we haven't been yet. So yes, let's take a look. Well, we might not. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. We might not even be able to do anything with it, but we can have a look. You may just have to see if there's some ground there on the far right to jump out onto. I'm not sure there is. It may also just be something we're not supposed to do. I'm not even sure where it was now. I'm not in the right no, place. No, it is there. I'll try getting up on yeah, top of it. Forge. There's no way to it though, is no, there? No, that doesn't seem that impressive either. It should probably <laughs> just go. I don't think it actually gets me anything useful. Let's just head back. You want to go to the left from here? Yeah? Yeah. Left again? That one. I think you can turn around and get to the one on to the one behind you. I wonder if I should pick up the air forge again, but maybe I don't need to. Uh, that's just up to you. I think I should be on that one, shouldn't I? Oh, maybe. I didn't see that that one had a shallower edge on the other side. Yes, I think you're right. I don't suppose it matters that we don't have an air forge, uh, an air font rather, because we'll, we'll pick one up at some point anyway. We're just legging it back. So we come back here for something else at some point then? Looks like it, yeah. Good grief. Well, you can all stay down here because you can't climb. Was a graveyard smash! <laughs> uh, okay, so we're back in Oceanstein. <laughs> Well, before we raise this and get back in, we could probably leave it here. We'll see you again.